In this tutorial, uh, we're going to look at uh, paper space layouts in AutoCAD, and we're going to look particularly at the, uh, the viewports and what you can do with them. Um, you may be familiar with the viewport that generally when you create one, it's sort of a rectangular shape like the one I've got here, and you you know you set out your drawing based in that shape. Uh, but what if you wanted to have a custom shape? Uh, that can be done too. So generally. A custom shape needs to be a polyline or a circle uh, or a rectangle and this would be a closed shape um, can't be just done with lines if it's going to be done it must be a polyline so we start the polyline command pl and just draw some random shape i'm not really doing anything sort of straight here just giving you an idea so on f3 there we go all right so we've created a shape um, first thing you want to check too is after you create a polyline is that it's a closed shape now to do that uh, select the shape we've just created right click a menu pops up and go down to the second from the bottom and click on properties uh, your properties window will come up so we scroll to the bottom here and under miscellaneous you'll see closed and it says it's not closed so we want to change that to yes so now it's a closed shape so now it'll work and we'll move that down here so what we do is same way you normally create a viewport type mv to create the uh, mview or invoke the mview command okay now it's asking us generally to create a rectangle now but if you look down in the command prompt here there's a few different options what we want to use is object because we've created an object our own custom one so type o for object it'll ask you to select the object so select the one you've created and as you can see uh, the floor plans come up inside I'll just delete the one behind um, so we can zoom in and scale this to whatever shape we like as well um, so to scale it I'll just select the shape and I'll make it 1 to 50 okay so and you can also edit the shape if you like if you need to do that uh, as you can see, uh, that's the basic sort of thing. Uh, I'll show you again with a circle and MV and O for object, and we have a circle. I find the circle's quite good for details. Um, and you can expand the circle too if you want to. Um, so it's all custom, you know, editable. Um, but that's the basis, basics of creating your own custom uh, viewports in uh, paper space. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.